Garrett, live on the North Lawn. Thanks. Well, health care is the topic in Pennsylvania tonight as two men who could both end up facing Democratic Senator Arlen Specter in his bid for a sixth term are teaming up for a town hall meeting. Chief political correspondent Carl Cameron joins us live from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Good evening, Carl. Hi, Brett. This is a very different kind of health care town hall meeting for sure. You have a conservative Republican running for U.S. Senate who's very much opposed to a government run public health insurance option, and a liberal Democrat running for U.S. Senate seat who is very much an, an ardent supporter of all of that. They do agree on one thing they're both against the incumbent Democrat Arlen Specter, who won't even be here tonight. First, the Democrat who will, Joe Sestak. Arlen Specter switched parties because he couldn't beat Pat Toomey. So he became a Democrat. But you also know that Arlen Specter then, after I announced my intention to get into the race, switched his position on the public option. In his second congressional term, Democrat Joe Sestak says health care reform is what led him to seek public office. He faces an uphill primary fight because President Obama and the Democratic establishment are backing Specter. Sestak blames slipping support for a public option on his own party. This public option needs better descriptions. We Democrats haven't provided it. It actually bends the health curve that's costing so much and going up, down and down. I argue that the government option is among the worst features in this bill. Former Republican Congressman Pat Toomey stepped down as head of the fiscally conservative club for growth to run for Senate against Specter. He welcomed Sestak's invitation to debate health care reform and voiced shared frustrations with Specter's party switch and evolving positions. At least with Joe Sestak, you have an honest, committed liberal who will defend his principles and they're important to him. In contrast to Arlen Specter, who really systematically tries to be on both sides of every issue. In advance of their town hall debate, both Toomey and Sestak agreed to have a beer together afterward. As for Specter, it's worth remembering that back in 2004, he was endorsed and ardently supported by President George W. Bush. Now, Specter is endorsed and ardently supported by President Obama. It's such a wide gulf, a lot of voters in Pennsylvania wonder what exactly Specter stands for, except perhaps for his own reelection, Brett.